We have a tank and it contains 5,000 liters of pure water. And then a brine that contains 30 grams of salt per liter is pumped into the tank at a rate of 25 liters per minute. The concentration of the salt in the tank after T minutes is then given by this function right here, which is a rational function. What happens to the concentration as t goes to infinity? Now, they're just giving us the result of this problem, which is great, but uh, as a preview for your future math, I just wanted to tell you that you will learn how to find this formula in your differential equations class. You will learn how to model this situation and then solve uh, a differential equation to get this result. But for now, they're giving us the result and we just have to take the limit as t goes to infinity. And you'll notice that we have a polynomial in the numerator and the denominator, and the degrees are the same, meaning uh, the highest power on our variable is the same at one. So we should expect the ratio of the leading coefficients to be the answer, that's 30 over one. If you wanted to do this in a slightly more technical way, you could divide the numerator by t and divide the denominator by t, and you would get in the numerator just a 30, in the denominator, you would get 200 over t plus 1. As t goes to infinity, this term will go to 0, and you will just get 30 over 0 plus 1, or 30. We don't want to leave our units off of this. Uh, the concentration is going to be measured in grams per liter. And that sure is what we expect, because we are pumping a brine of 30 grams per liter into the tank. So even if we start with pure water in the tank, we expect that as t goes to infinity, in the long term, the solution in the tank will match the concentration of the brine being pumped into the tank. Okay, hopefully that makes sense.